Communities in the Torres Strait could become Australia's first climate refugees. Islands are already being swamped by high tides and residents say what happens to them should serve as a lesson for anyone living on the coast. The clear blue waters of a tropical paradise, but on Saibai Island the tide is high and it's getting higher. And when the water comes knocking on your door, you can't say no. The Maldives and Pacific Islands may have had more publicity, but communities in Australia's Torres Strait are drowning just as quickly. We are waving. We are flagging for help. Trees and dunes have washed away, and while some houses now sit on stilts, many remain dangerously close to the ocean. Beaches and front yards now one and the same. It's hard to believe that within 90 years this island oasis could be drowned by surging seas. A worldwide rise of just one metre could see up to 145 million people homeless, and most of them will be in our backyard. Environment group Green Cross is helping residents plan their future. It warns rising sea levels and extreme weather events like floods and cyclones will have a major impact on all coastal communities. Saibai might be first, but the Gold Coast, Byron Bay and parts of Victoria's Gippsland region could all follow. The whole of Australia need to sit up and take notice of what's happening in our area. Because we're talking about people's lives. Lives and culture, elders say, can never be moved. I, I was born here, I will live here, I will die here. Researchers from Queensland's Griffith University are monitoring the tides on Saibai and nearby Boigu, providing crucial information on how fast the water's rising, but it won't hold back the waves. On Saibai Island, Brett Mason, 10 News.